हेलो एंड वेलकम टू रेडियो सिटी इंडिया मेरा नाम है हैंसन और स्टूडियो में मौजूद है आशुतोष वेलकम टू द स्टूडियो हेलो हैंसन हाय व्यूअर्स थ्री जीरो इंस्टेड ऑफ टू वन I'm very happy. Yeah. It's three zero, but to be honest, I didn't expect it to be so smooth for India in mm. uh, uh, away uh, swinging conditions of New Zealand. Yeah. So the ball is not swinging that much, but uh, mm. we are talking today about the fourth ODI. Before that, हम देखेंगे second और third ODI में क्या हुआ था. सबसे पहली बात, Raidu finally performed. But still, I won't match. take too much from that performance. It's mm. good that he performed well mm. because we need backup in mm. the uh, squad. But I'll still say if the conditions were more challenging, like say twenty odd for two, mm. chasing a big score, mm. or batting first also twenty thirty odd for two, then he comes in. Uh, then it's a real challenge. Mm. Year one fifty odd chasing two fifty. So the one more player missing in the third ODI was M S Dhoni. Uh, First, I I have never seen M S Dhoni get injured. Yeah. He rarely misses any match. So, I he just catching up with him, or is it like uh, he was? No, no. It I, was a fake injury, and they wanted no, 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 no. wanted no, no, no. to give Dinesh Karthik a chance. No, no. no. <laughs> Dinesh Karthik deserves that chance because he played well against Australia. He deserves this chance over I do. No, I am speaking like a fan. Okay. So Dhoni ko jaan puch ke injured ke Karthik ko likhane. So <laughs> that is a different case. Must have been really injured. But, but good thing is that Dhoni is back in form. Yeah. And when Dhoni is back in form, he brings a lot to the team. Mm-hmm. So if there is no, uh, nothing like Dhoni in the eleven, because along with his batting, he brings about his keeping abilities. We've seen that with respect to Ross Taylor stumping. Mm. He brings about game awareness. Mm. No one has. Uh, the uh, cricketing brain like ms dhoni hmm. and added to uh, uh, him being a senior player being an ex captain he'll contribute a lot uh, and help virat kohli yeah so one more thing that we saw in the second odi was mm-hmm. when raidu and dhoni played together the scoring was they True. dragged down the score and like yeah, because new zealand didn't bat well hmm. that wasn't really reflected yeah 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 so do you think like in the future plans they can not be in the same team together i i have always said that i don't like raidu yeah. my preferred option is dinesh karthik hmm. so i'm not much to say about it so now we talk about the comeback man in the third odi that is hardik pandya Back with a bang, <laughs> absolutely. And there is no uh, substitute to Hardik Pandya because mm. at number seven position, the mm. seeming all-rounders rule, mm. we don't have any other backup. Vijay Shankar is a poor substitute to Hardik Pandya, but mm. Hardik Pandya is a class of his own yeah. with respect to cricketing abilities. Yeah, the flying catch, the two wickets. Now we talk about the big guy, Virat Kohli. Playing his last match for the series. I thought that he'd score a hundred because yeah. not often do we have a series with uh, without a hundred of a Virat Kohli mm-hmm. or Rohit Sharma. Mm-hmm. And Virat Kohli knew that he's been rested for the next two matches. Rohit Sharma still ha- has a couple of matches to get that hundred per one hundred per series. Yeah. But Virat Kohli, I thought would get that, but he unfortunately missed it. Maybe that is the reason because he was playing the last match that your prediction went wrong. He, <laughs> w- he wanted to finish the series before he uh, goes. He wanted to uh, go um, and chill. <laughs> yeah. Take a much deserved, much needed rest. Yeah. So now we move on to the New Zealand team. Lot of things to be answered, but Automat- Ross Taylor, automatically damage control. Yeah, Ross Taylor and uh, Latham were good in the third. And we ODI. mentioned about the yeah. when we spoke before the first match, mm. the two New Zealand players to watch out for. I have said that Kane Williamson and Ross Taylor. Yeah. So both of them have performed. Though Williamson performed only in one match, yeah. Ross Taylor has done well. So I I still believe in the coming two matches, mm. these two will emerge out among the New Zealand players. Okay. Now there is a change in the. New Zealand squad See, for the fourth ODI. When a team loses, yeah, for not just fourth, fourth and fifth, the remaining yeah, two yeah, yeah. automatically changes are bound to be because uh, the shortcomings are highlighted. There is public pressure, media mm. pressure. So Todd Assel comes in, and Jimmy Nishan comes in yeah. for two players who played the last ODI. So mm. you can automatically two spots being vacant. Yeah, one is. Uh, Ish Sodhi mm-hmm. and the other is Doug Bracewell. Yeah. Todd Assel is incidentally the preferred spinning all rounder, but incidentally gets uh, injured again and again and never gets to play ma- ma- matches for New Zealand. Mm-hmm. And you can equate him to say uh, Kedar Jadhav of mm-hmm. India who gets injured frequently, or for that matter, Michelle Stark of Australia. Yeah. So he's the they are New Zealand version of these players. <laughs> but finally, he get a chance. He yeah. tormented India A mm-hmm. when India A toured New Zealand. Mm-hmm. So. I'm sure he will walk into the eleven along with Jimmy Nisha. Yeah. So now speaking about India A, 
there is one more player in the Indian squad who may get a chance who oh. played for India eh? that is Shubman Gill. Gill so if Dhoni is not yeah. fit yeah. Virat Kohli's position being open and Shubman Gill plays prefers playing higher up the order mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. ideal candidate to test him or try him at number 3 yeah so rest of the 11 remains the same hmm. with uh, Shubman Gill coming in at number 3 yeah so if in case MS Dhoni is fit mm-hmm. whom does he replace you know who Directly. he replaces Dinesh Karthik most of the time. Yeah. So Shubhdeel uh, uh, prefer Shubman Gill at three, and maybe Dinesh Karthik will make him, uh, will step out for uh, MS Dhoni okay. because they do, they want to try someone at number mm. three. Mm-hmm. They don't want to mix and match and get Raidu at three and get everyone up the order, yeah. which in again spoils the uh, order of the batting. Mm. Or else, do you think Dinesh Karthik playing at number three and? No, because Dinesh Karthik, Dinesh Karthik has been uh, preferred as a finisher, yeah. so his role as a finisher. Mm. So at max, Raidu will come at three, mm. which I which is one bo- option. The second option is Shubman Gill at number three. Okay. Any bowling changes you think that Bhuvanesh yeah, will be India's rested bowling is the best, I believe. Yeah. They so, are scaring everyone right now. <laughs> they have got uh, the, the uh, opening bowlers have got two wickets in almost. Uh, last 10 matches mm. of in the power play so mm. that's an amazing start which Bhuvi has given along with his new partner Shami yeah. this time without Bumrah India is playing so well surprise <laughs> now that you mentioned about uh, Shubman Gila, I'll ask you a trivia yeah this is related to Indian domestic cricket yeah uh, Ranji Trophy the uh, matches are at the final stage can you mm. tell me which two teams have made, made it to the finals I know Saurashtra and Vidarbha okay and who is the coach of Vidarbha Simple, that, that, Chandrakant Pandit. Okay, I think in the trivia you didn't even wait for the end this yeah. time. Okay, we'll share some details about Chandrakant Pandit now that you mentioned him. Yeah. This is his fourth final in hmm. the fourth year. Hmm. And uh, last year he won it with Vidharb. The previous two years he he took Mumbai to the finals hmm. and won one out of two. So, hmm. t- uh, two titles in the last three years and hmm. fourth final pending. Hmm. And incidentally he, be- he has beaten Mumbai this year as well. Yeah. His ex-team. And when he shifted to Vidarbha, he even took Basim Jafar with him. Yeah. <laughs> and he is the main reason why Mumbai lost True. to Vidarbha. So, that was the trivia for today. So, uh, before we end the show, we need the prediction. Oh. <laughs> the difficult task. Difficult for, for, the, the task wave for which I am lousy at. Yeah. <laughs> you asked me about players. Yeah, we had mentioned Munro as well. His place is under scanner as mm-hmm, well. Mm-hmm. Because they might, they might consider Latham opening mm. and getting Grandome and... Nisham, Nisham both to play. Mm-hmm. Random Nisham and Asil all three play. Mm-hmm. And can leave them as the opener along with Guptil. Yeah. So uh, the one player I said will be a dud, his position is almost to be dropped. Everything mm-hmm. with respect to players, everything, everything is goes. Good. And that is what my forte is. Yeah. You put me in an awkward position by asking me about the match trivia. Still I'll to. I'll make an attempt. Yes. Uh, so we are taking the fourth ODI. Right? Fourth ODI, yes. Fourth ODI. I think we'll give it to New Zealand again. Okay, so India is winning. <laughs> o- only and only because Virat Kohli is not there. Okay, so India is winning again. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so, hopefully the prediction is uh, wrong again. Virat Kohli brings a lot to the table. With Virat Kohli missing, yeah. <laughs> I think New Zealand will. The gap between the two teams is considerably reduced. Okay, so now uh, this, this is the end of the show. Uh, what are your thoughts? Please write down in the comments section and uh, like the video. I'll keep that to me. So, I'll say like, comment, share, subscribe. In short. So, this is me, Hanson and Ashto signing off. We will meet you before the 5th ODI. So, till then, bye-bye. Ciao.